SELFSI, Spoken Easy Language for Social Inclusion. I think we can move into our first session. It's a session uh, that is entirely devoted to the SELFSI project and uh, the coordinator of the project, Tatiana Knapp, from the RISA um, Institute, is going to present uh, our project in a nutshell. Tatiana is the director of this organization which produces easy language content in Slovenia. And, and she's also uh, the reason why we are all here today. She <laughs> decided to really go ahead with the idea of studying spoken easy language and, and she will tell us more about it in a second. Yes, um, thank you so much Elisa for this lovely introduction. Um, we are very excited to be here, the team from RISA, to meet with all the partners, with all of you. Um, and um, I will be very short and I hope I will be um, clear and easy with my words, as this is something that we want to do in our project. But before I start my short and hopefully easy presentation, I would like to warmly thanks, um, have my, uh, give my warmest thank you to the University of Trieste, to our colleagues who, are, who were also in charge of our first work package of the project. They will introduce this later. Um, so thank you very much for organizing uh, uh, this, for organizing us and have us all here today. And without further ado, let's see what Project CELSI is all about. We are speaking about Project CELSI, but we do not often mention the full name, which is Spoken Easy Language for Social Inclusion. This stands for CELSI. What do we want to do? We want to figure out how to speak in a way people can understand us well. How can we understand each other well when we are speaking? Um, here, we are not speaking about uh, this little language barrier today, since we will be speaking in English and Italian, but we do have translators and so on. Here we are speaking about people who speak the same language, but um, they want to understand each other really well. Why is this important? This is especially important, for example, um, if we are educators, if we are professionals who want to teach um, adults or youth or even children, um, and we want to make sure that everyone understands what we are speaking about, like European Commission is speaking about inclusion a lot in the last years. This is one of the prior priorities in the European U Union. We want to make sure that everyone is included. And Project CELSI is about this. It's about everyone being included, included into education. Um, for presentations, you will tell us later or in the break, were we clear today? Did we, we will try our best to speak in easy language, but you can give us pointers, for example. Oh, you failed with this and this because that's, that was very hard to understand. And we will take this to our hearts and minds and we will include it into our guidelines and so on because the research is still going on. Um, Maybe we are included into some sort of uh, therapy, for example. It's really good if we have a therapist who wants uh, to speak in easy language so we understand wh what they are speaking about. At the doctor's office, uh, we like to hear news in the words we understand, and so on, and so on, and so on. Um, is the mic okay? Okay, I thought there was some issue. But most importantly, it's not working, right? Um, okay, just, just punch it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> but most importantly, CELSI project is for the people. So we do not make mistakes in understanding each other and uh, then feel uh, sad or uh, stressed out or uh, our needs are not met. 
this picture looks very complicated. <laughs> I promise you it's not. I will explain it a little bit. Um, this is basically, we call this a timeline of our project. Here, this first red flag, um, it marks the day that we started the project. This was the 1st of November, 2022. And we met in a month later, we met in Vilnius, we went to Lithuania, we discussed things, and then we started researching. Uh, we call this needs and resource mapping, and Pierre and Elisa and colleagues from the project will later explain what we find out. Um, we sent around surveys, we sent questionnaires, perhaps you were uh, also a part of this and you answered our questions. Basically, we were asking, what do we need to take into consideration? What do we have to respect if we want to speak in a way that people understand us? We asked this the professionals and the end users of easy language. Now we will take this information that we gathered, we will take uh, like scientific articles that are out there, and we will take any information that we can get, and we will make recommendations for spoken easy language. Then we will test those recommendations, those lines a little bit, and then we will make an interesting tool. This will be like an online thing with um, guidelines, with advice on how to speak in a way that people can understand each other. And this will be, for example, like very short videos or audios with how to speak. So uh, people will be able to use this and uh, see for themselves if this works out for them in their communication. And we call this a European model for spoken easy language. Of course, this is just like one of the first or the first European project in this topic. So uh, we hopefully we will with this project we will help also other people, educators, researchers, professionals to do other projects in this field. And as Elisa mentioned earlier, today is a good opportunity to network, to get to know each other, and perhaps ideas for new projects come out of this meeting today. Just to mention shortly that the core partnership, the partner organizations come from five countries. These are Italy, Sweden, Latvia, Lithuania, and Slovenia. There's seven partner organizations. Uh, you will get to learn. Uh, you will get to learn more about them today. You already found out about University of Trieste and Zao Teresa. Uh, we have two universities in the project and three non-governmental organizations and also one national broadcaster. So it's um, it's like a colorful colorful team of people. We also get help from very good professionals from all over the Europe. We call them advisory group. And uh, one of them, one of our advisors for the project is here today. Uh, you will meet her later. Uh, it's, uh, her name is uh, Lea Laura Leskela. I'm so sorry because I don't speak Finnish if I said it wrong, but you will meet uh, uh, her later. And uh, I'm really much looking uh, for, uh, forward to her presentation because she is really expert on the subject on easy finish and we also have in um, um, in three no sorry in four countries we have I made a little mistake here in four countries we have cooperation groups those are the groups of people who are using easy language, like people who have some sort of barriers, barriers in understanding standard language. Um, we gather those people in groups. We did this in every country because the problem is we cannot do a whole big group because then we would have to speak in English and so on, but our end user speaks in our national languages. That's why we have groups that help us advise in each country separately. And uh, if I didn't mention already, our project is funded by the European Union. This is the uh, Erasmus Plus program. And th these are the logos of all the partners that decided to go on the path of this project and uh, are here now today together 
for the very first event of the project. This would be it from uh, my side. If you have any questions later, uh, or if you have any ideas, uh, please feel free to talk to us. And uh, we are excited to meet you all. Thank you very much. Celsi, spoken easy language for social inclusion. Partners are Zavo Trisa, RTV Slovenia, Dyslexi Verbundet, Universita degli Studi di Trieste, Vieglas Valodas Agentura, Vilnius Universitetas, Vsi Informatios Kaupimo Irsklaidos Centras. Funded by the European Union.